Plywood is a common building material for our layouts, but how does the product get from the mill to the store? Today, we're gonna take a look at how plywood is shipped by rail. David writes in, I currently model an HO scale and have made several scale four x eight sheets stacked of plywood. I use them as scenery on various parts of my layout. I place them as box car loads, but was wondering if plywood was in fact shipped in box cars or were other types of rail cars used? David, plywood certainly is shipped in box cars, but more commonly today, it's shipped on bulkhead flat cars or center beam bulkhead flat cars. Now here's an example of a load of plywood on a conventional bulkhead flat car. The one thing you'll notice right away is that the plywood sheets are all wrapped, and that's to protect it from the elements, specifically rain and snow. Now most of the wraps that are put on plywood, dimensional lumber, things like that, have the mill's name on it. So it kind of adds a little bit of extra color to the load and makes your freight car load a little bit more interesting. Here's an, another example of plywood on a center beam bulkhead flat car. Now similar to the bulkhead flat car, you can see that the plywood here is wrapped as well. It has the can for logo on all of the wraps. You can see it also how the uh, load is secured to the car with the cables that go from the top of the car down to the sills here, securing it in place. To learn more about how lumber is transported by rail, you'll want to check out Chapter 5 of Jeff Wilson's book, The Model Railroader's Guide to Industries 4. This book is item number 12439, and it's available from the Kambach Hobby Store, kambachhobbystore.com. The book is priced at $19.95 and is still in stock, so you can order your copy right away. Do you have other questions about how materials are shipped by rail? Or do you like to learn more about model railroading? We're here to help you. Send us an email at asktrains at trains.com.